get into it. Get into it. Uh, get into it. La 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 Hey love, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're going to do American Sign Language Okay, I feel like Oh shake him out, Terry, shake out the wheel, shake it out Okay Today in this video, we're going to be doing American Sign Language. I'm going to teach you some basic American Sign Language. I'm going to teach you the ABCs for this. Also, first. stay tuned until the end for the bonus tip that will help you communicate more effectively with sign language. So it will take you from just here to just one step further. So stay tuned till the end for the bonus tip. So first we're going to do A. It's like a fist with your thumb out. And then B is four, but closed, and make sure the thumb is in front. C, D, and it just looks, it looks like a D. Uh, you just wanna use your pointer, your pointer facing up. D, e, all your fingers real scrunched up now. F, my like pointer finger hurts, so it's, yeah. G, it looks like little, 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 G, H, this is what it looks like from this side. Your thumb is on the side. Just because you don't want it to be showing on the other side, I guess. It's not all that important, but as long as you get it from this side. H. And then I is like, oh, I'm fancy. J. Then you just loop the I. So you go from I. Pinky up. Thumb in front. And then J, loop it. Super simple. I love the loops. They're nice and easy. K. So it's like a peace sign, but make sure your thumb is in between. This is very quintessential because you'll see why in a little bit later. L, I don't know, I can't get all my fingers to go down and make this one straight, so yeah. If you can, kudos to you, man. L, so now we have three. Put your thumb here, tuck all the other fingers on top. So N. And then the same thing, but with just two. In. And then we have O. O. P. Just like K, but upside down. Q. Just like G, but up. R. It's a promise. Make sure the middle finger, yeah, the middle finger's on. Wrapped around the pointer. S. Black power. Just in front. T, just like the M and the N, just one this time. T, U, upsy daisies. V is the P sign, but out. The only difference between K and the V is no thumb in between. W, three fingers up. X, er, like parrot. This is what it looks like from the other side. Y. And Z, you just make a V. The whole alphabet, you know, pretty simple. And I feel like sign language is a little bit easier to learn than other languages just because you're doing something. At least for me, um, it might have something to do with your learning capabilities, how you learn best. But because it's something I'm doing, the muscle work, then it's a lot easier, I think, than something I'm saying personally. So I think if you start learning sign language, you'll really pick it up just like that. So now we're going to do A through F. I'm going to go a little bit faster. No talk, just boom. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, again. A, B, C, D, E, F. Do A through F one more time, and then we're going to go the next six. Yeah. A, I'm going to go a little faster. We're going to go... Simple. A B C D E F G H I. Nope, that's wrong. I don't know how to count to six. G to L. G to L. Simple. And we're gonna do G to L. Cherry, I have to say it out loud for myself. G to L, and we're gonna do it three times. Okay, ready? First time, we're gonna go same tempo, and then we'll slow it down, and then we'll go at the same tempo again. Ready? 
G-H-I-J-K-L. One more time. G-H-I-J-K-L. You got it? Okay, we'll do it slow. G-H-I-J-K-L. Now we're going to put it together. You ready? We're going to go from A to L. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see if you got it. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, R, P, A, K, L, M, N, O. No, Charity. L. Golly. One more time. And then we're going to do it the next six. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L. Nice. Okay. I hope you guys are feeling good about it. Like, you get what I'm saying when I say, like, it's it's pretty simple. Sign language is just hopping into it, really. It, but once you get started, then you're going to be like, oh, by golly gee, I think I've got it. <laughs> you know? We're going to do M to R. M to R. So we're on the second half of the alphabet. M to R. Here we go. Here we go. M, N, O, P, Q, R. Okay. We're going to go a little faster now. Okay. M, N, O, M. Now we're going to go from A to R, and then we are almost done with the alphabet, and you almost know the whole alphabet of sign language, and you're almost a genius, and you can almost communicate with more than one person, one language. Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Now let's do S to Z. Alrighty, here we go. S T U V W X Y Z. You ready? One more time. S T U V W X Y and Z. Oh my goodness. We like. <clears throat> We're gonna go A to Z. You ready? Let's do it. I have faith in you. Okay, try and do the whole thing. No, no breaks. Okay, if you mess up, just keep going. Hop in where you left off. Get in where you can fit in. All right, here we go. A, B. C. Okay, that was too fast. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. I'm getting, I'm getting excited. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. One more time, and then we're gonna move on to numeros, numbers. One language at a time, Charity. We're not doing Spanish right now. Okay. A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. You know the alphabet now. Okay. So if you just practice this, I think if you practice this every day for a week if you're a fast learner, two weeks if you're not, then I think you'll have your alphabet. You just have to keep practicing. You'll have it um, one to two weeks, you'll have it down without having to look at the video. But um, if you just have someone to practice with, that will really help. 
So yeah, if you want to comment down below, if you don't have anyone to practice with, you can always practice with me. I don't mind. Um, when you're first starting out, as long as you know this bonus tip, then you'll be able to communicate with anyone who speaks sign language fluently, and then they'll be able to understand you. Maybe a little slower, but they will be able to understand you. Anything, because the cool thing about sign language is, as long as you know the alphabet, you can speak sign language. As long as you know the alphabet, you maybe it's arguable, but you can say you're fluent in sign language. So the only thing you need to know is space, and this is how you really communicate with people. Boop, that's it. So if if I don't know the signs for hi, my name is Cherry, I can. If I forget what that is, I can always go back to the alphabet. I can go hi, space, my, space, name, space, is, space, charity. If push comes to shove, you have the alphabet and you have space. That's all you need. And you know sign language, man. But if you want to go a little faster, like when they start doing like more things like, like hi, my name which is unnecessary. Charity, I messed up it a little bit. <laughs> you wanna start being able to do those things and like, yeah, like, you know, if you want stuff like that, then keep watching. And you'll be able to do more things. Okay, well, I will catch you guys in the next one. And we're gonna do numbers, all right? You ready? Get into it, get into it. Yeah, get into it. Thank you again for coming to my YouTube channel. Um, if this is your first time, welcome, thank you. And then if you're a returner, thank you, welcome. And just comment below which one seemed the easiest. Comment below which um, letter in the alphabet seemed the easiest. And then which one did you, it didn't really resonate at all or did you expect it to be something else? Like, comment, subscribe, share it with somebody, share it with a friend, with a friend. And I kept it kid friendly so if you wanna Show us some kids by all means. Catch you guys in the next one. La 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 Different barrier. Because we're gonna break this American egocentric mindset that Americans or the common denominator and people should just accommodate to us because that is a form of entitlement and we don't want that over here no we don't we don't need that the real way to make america great is for them to get the chip off their shoulder all right all right <laughs>